Hi YouTube, Tinfoil Hat Lady here. I want to talk to you about something that um, a tinfoil person should probably be talking about, and that's exopolitics, as Alex Collier likes to call it. Um, but what I'm going to talk to you about is just my own experience with what people call UFOs, um, aliens, abductions, uh, and implants. One of the first things I remember when I was little, sleeping in my bed, I was under six years old, and I lived near the Air Force Base in Minot, North Dakota. The door to my bedroom opened up, there was a weird noise, big light came in, I was totally paralyzed on my bed, and then I just remember it being over and me going to tell my parents and they said I heard a cat fight. My next memory is being on my grandmother's farm in rural North Dakota and being able to see, as I'm sleeping in the bedroom through the glass window, light, the night sky, the night outside lighting up and then I was able to see a silhouettes of what I thought of as monkey people. And again, I was paralyzed and I was, I heard this voice in my head say, if you don't move, they won't see you. And that's all I remember of that. And then I also remember waking up at my grandma's in that same place and seeing like a half wolf, half man running around in the front room on all fours on the floor. Very weird. I found out later my grandmother used to see UFOs over her barn all the time out there. Then my next memory is my, I guess my mother and my auntie pulling over on the highway to Bismarck one time and pointing out a UFO, but I was asleep in the back seat and I couldn't really see it. I remember they were making a fuss about it. And then the next thing would have been my mother telling me about UFOs following her up north, um, going camping, and uh, her seeing them on the highway when she used to drive back and forth on the highway. Diamond shaped one in discs that would hover over the lake or follow them up the highway to the lake. <clears throat> my next memory is in high school. I'm just trying to rattle these off. Uh, I'm with a friend in the park eating lunch and we see a gray disc on the horizon and then it zips away. The next one is that I'm blowing my nose one day and I'm blowing and blowing and blowing and blowing and suddenly this long thing comes out of my nose. And I thought it was like when a dog hair, because we had a big dog at the time, big black dog. You can see her in some of my videos. She's gone now. It was like a gel or blood clot all the way around, like sort of symmetrical though, like a round little... So I thought it was maybe a dog hair that got stuck up my nose. Now they did on some wax paper and I was going to take it into the lab the next day. And then the next day it was all translucent and dried out and I just remember tipping it into the garbage and forgetting about it for about six months. I never told anybody. And then I told my friend uh, at bltresearch.com, Nancy Talbot, about it. And she was frustrated, but she said it's sometimes a programming that you just want to let that go the next day. Because I was so, I'm a curious person and I wanted, I wanted to take it to the lab, but I did just dump it in the garbage the next day. Then my son and I saw, uh, he said, mom, there's a yellow ball in the sky. And I ran outside and we stood on our front step, two o'clock in the afternoon, beautiful October day, blue sky. And there's one of these orbs, goldeny yellow, beautiful, driving over my house. And then it stopped. I was amazed. Looked, look at cars, look at people, look up, there it is. And then it sort of went, sat there for quite some time. It made me feel really interesting. And then up, it went up, 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 then it changed shape and color a couple times, and then it just went up, up. And apparently some kids out of town in another town saw it too. And then we were driving on the highway in Surrey, BC one time, and we saw another one of these kind of golden orbs following sort of along the car, up and back. We took a picture of it, but I can't find it. Does you know, it's like a golden ball. Daytime sighting. And then my friends in our neighborhood actually saw like what they described as something like what the Phoenix lights were like here. Also, I have to add this in. <clears throat> I was driving into a different neighborhood, coming to a four-way stop that I've come to quite often. And I remember looking up in the daytime and seeing like a dark purple orb with a black sort of window on it, just hovering a little bit above this four-way stop. I even pulled over and got out of my car to look a little bit at, at it as it floated away and then I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get going. But um, 
I always forget about that, but I did have that one too. I wanted to add that in there. And uh, yeah. Another interesting thing I want to let you know, in 1966, the Air Force Base at Minot was just shut down because all the missiles went offline. My mother's memory of this is that somebody on drugs shut all the missiles down and they had everybody go into lockdown. But when I read Dr. Stephen Greer's project, uh, Disclosure Project book, they talk about this event and they describe the um, declassified documents saying that you know a huge UFO hovered over the base there and turned all the nuclear missiles off and maybe that's you know another message to us that nuclear missiles rip through dimensions and so you can't be doing stuff like that. Um, that's my guess about those weapons of terror. I think they are banned in civilized countries, civilized areas of the galaxy, but we're on the outer edges of the galaxy where all the riffraff are, so well, what are you going to do? Hmm. So that's what I know about a UFO. What do you know? Have you had any experiences like this? We tend to forget about them or push them to the side, but um, as Alex Collier was talking about in this Project Camelot video I just saw, Maybe mentoring culture is what we need, and a lot of their ideas that are sent out through Alex Collier resonate with me, and I seem to have had those ideas before, all on my own, so who knows people, maybe I am just an Andromedan, an Andromedan dressed up like a tinfoil hat lady. Peace out. Let me know what you think.